Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Mube. The program is Zimrod to 2023. We have a different guest today. He is from Zanupiaf. His name is Dumaza Moyo. Uh, he is the political commissar of Zimbabwe's ruling party in South Africa. Welcome to the show, bro. Thank you. Right, uh, we are going to the elections, 2023. You are based in the diaspora. Uh, are you going home to vote? Definitely. Okay. Uh, now, I want us to understand the status of Southern PF in South Africa. How many cutters do you have? How many of them are going home to vote? Actually, uh, here in South Africa, we have uh, more than 5,000 members. Okay. Who are ready to go back home to vote? And are you going to provide them with transport as a part? No, we are not going to provide them with transport. Okay. Um, there is, I don't know if you saw Julius Malema uh, a week ago, that was early this week or late last week. He was saying that um, Zimbabwe should go home and vote, and if they need assistance, with the buses, the EFF can avail buses to take Zimbabweans home to go and vote. Now, if you tried to maybe reach out to them and say, we've got these 5,000 members, they want to go home and vote, can you assist to try and take him up on his way? Yes, I, we hear that uh, Mr. Judas Malema, he offered us trans offered Zimbabwe's transport. Yes. But as is ZANPF, we agreed that if you really, you are a really ZANPF man, or a member, you don't need transport. You, do, you don't need to be provided by transport. Okay. We know we, we are going to different areas. Remember, we have got 10 different provinces. Yes, home. yes. So if we, we, they can bring those 500 buses here, but some they are going to Chile, some they are going to Wangi, some they are going to Karoi. How are they going to accommodate those comrades? Okay. Yeah, yeah, but there the, are the central positions, like for example, someone is going to the Middle East, you take them halfway, you take them to where they can complete the journey, someone is going to Matipelele, or anyway, Matipelele, you take them maybe Map South, Kwanda, Bulawayo is a province on its own, or you drop everyone from Matipelele, I mean, who's going to Matipelele, Northern, Bulawayo to Bulawayo, and some of these areas? Uh, we, we, we are correct, we are correct. Uh, but here yeah, the situation is like this. Yeah. As an PF, our members they will use their own transport. Okay, that's so, party policy. That's party policies. Because we will end up tomorrow uh, taking the wrong people. <laughs> we will end up taking the wrong people. So we know our members and we communicated to our members that anyone who wants to uh, to go and vote, anyone who is registered, and that's what we are encouraging that. Anyone who is registered, you uh, use your own transport. Uh, when you say you'll be taking the wrong people, I, I would believe that as a ruling party in Zimbabwe, a party that believes in itself, you would say you'd be happy to see any every Zimbabwean going home to vote, whether they're going to vote anybody else. And if you have confidence in yourself, you'd believe that everyone who's going to vote is going to vote you. Why are you saying they, are, they could be wrong people? Uh, we, are, we are a party, Zanapir. Yes. Then, if it's like that, a uh, comrade, uh, Judas Malema, he was supposed to approach the ambassador, because he's the one who is in charge of everyone here in South Africa. Okay. Not as ZANPF. As ZANPF, tomorrow they will end up changing the story, saying that uh, ZANPF, they are buying people, they are doing this. Oh. So, we want to avoid that. Okay. Yes. No, I get you. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, let's talk about first ZANPF in South Africa, because I believe you came here representing ZANU-PF in South Africa. Yes. Um, there are so many Zimbabweans in South Africa, including those who are not in your structures and those who are not supporting uh, ZANU-PF. But at the end of the day, you are the party that is in government in Zimbabwe. There are complaints that your party is not concerned about the issues affecting Zimbabweans in South Africa. We talk about xenophobia, we talk about uh, unfair accusations against Zimbabweans. You talk about that they are being accused of committing crime. Fine, some of them do commit crime. But now Zimbabwe has become the poster boys and poster women 
of criminality in South Africa, of socio-economic problems in South Africa. We haven't seen you as a party trying to intervene in some of these things. Why is that so? Uh, we are always available. We are always available. And uh, you know, most of the time, people here in diaspora, yeah. uh, they've got a certain belief that they are here just because of the Zan PF. So when they see us going outside, yeah. Sometimes our lives uh, we are not safe. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, some of the uh, people that are here in South Africa, they are not registered voters, yeah. and they talk too much. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are from, uh, people that are from different part, political parties. When they see us out there, like what you see, what happened to the ambassador? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a uh, uh, funeral. Uh, yeah. funeral. Yes. That's the situation. So we are also also scared of our lives, <laughs> but we really uh, know that some of the, the people there they belong to us. Yeah. But why, why? Why is it so? Why are we in this situation? According to your own judgment, why? Should you be scared of walking where they are Zimbabwe? You are in Zimbabwe yourself. Yes. I walked when I called you here. You didn't have second thoughts because you knew that you were be safe. Yes. So why should you be unsafe among your fellow uh, countrymen when you are the party that is in charge? Why is it so? And genuinely, why do you think that is the case? Uh, I think that's the it's because of the, I actually I also say the opposition parties why they they tell their people. Yeah. That's the problem now. Was uh, Tina as Zan PF like our president always preach that preach peace always. He's supposed to preach in peace that like, we must be pre peace. We treat as Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe they, we, they, we don't have any we don't, we don't, we don't have tribalism in Zimbabwe. You know as Zimbabwe is a Zimbabwe. We are all belongs to one country. Yes. But some people from our country, I think you know. You know, yeah. you hear uh, uh, people calling each other by uh, names. Ah, when we are, we, we are from this uh, area, that means we are, we are belongs to this. We are, we are sure now when we are yeah. in the yeah. That's the problem that is, that causes this situation here in South Africa. People they believe that Zion PF belongs to Shona people. That's what they say, and they, that's the I don't know what happened to our to the people from our side. They believe that ZPF belongs to Shona people. And if you are in Devene and you are from you, you are under you are in ZPF, yeah. they think that maybe yeah, you, you they bought <laughs> yes, you know. yes, yeah, you I, know. I remember there is there is a, a video of yours where there was this donation of, of ambulances and you were there, there is a video of you talking about ZPF in Devene and somebody. They wrote some profanities, they were insulting you, calling you a uh, sellout. But now I would believe, I don't know if you are in a position to answer this one, I would believe that the reason being mostly from what Zanu PF has done as a party, secondly, from what Zanu PF as the party in government has failed to do. I will talk about first and foremost the Kukuraudi issue, which hasn't been responded, I mean, uh, resolved. And that's the reason why many debaters, I'm not going to say all of them or most of them, because Zanu PF, I think, they are in charge of almost every rural province in Matebeleland. That shows that the people, the majority of people in Matebeleland are voting Zanu PF. But there are still people who are questioning the political will to try and resolve the current issues from Zanu PF. Secondly, being Zanu PF as a party in government has failed to create what we can call the Zimbabwean nation, converting the people into being from individuals, the people making the people as a nation to say we have a nation that is Zimbabwe and we think Zimbabwean first before we can think uh, provincial or tribal. So, uh, would you yourself absorb Zanupia from what I have said? I would say, um, with uh, this issue of Kukurawandi, yeah. I think this one is clear because there is a team that is dealing with that issue. Yeah. That was set by the president. We have had teams dealing with this from 1985, I think, 1987. We have the Shikamba Commission, we have the Tumbuchina Report that was never made public. Now we are having, there was the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, I yes. think, during the GNU. Nam Nangawa has come in. 
he's come up with something else, PRC, but still this issue has not been resolved. That's what I'm talking about political will. Would you say there is political will within Zanu PF to say uh, this issue should be addressed, addressed? Because we remember when Nagawa came on, he said, let bygones be bygones. And people took him on that because he is seen as, I wouldn't say myself that he is the poster boy, but there is this belief that he is one of the poster boys of Ukura Munde. He said, let bygones be bygones. You see? Yeah, I do understand. But um, I think he, on that one, I'm not going to dwell much on that one because yeah. they, they are, uh, I believe that they are dealing with that issue. And okay. believe me, that issue is going to be solved. It's going to be resolved uh, as soon as possible. And the Just issue of that, failing to unite Zimbabwe is general. I, and here I'm not talking about tribe. Yes. I'm not talking about you live in South Africa. EFF people and ANC people can be seen together anytime. They can campaign a meter from each other. They don't fight because politically they're tolerating one another. But ZANU PF, as we know it, uh, is a party that is intolerant of opposing views. Triple C, as we know it, or let me say MDC Triple C, they are a party as well that is intolerant. But there is a party that is in charge of the state apparatus. We can enforce this tolerate. Why is it failing to do that? We, people, it's more people, they are, are, are united. They are united. Mm-hmm. There is only some certain individuals, some certain individuals, like some uh, political parties, what they do, what they do, uh, they are, I can say they are crying babies. They are always crying. Eh? This is happening. And if you go to the ground, there's nothing that is happening. Like now, they're saying eh, we are being beaten somewhere. We are being beaten. All, and if you go to the ground, there's no nothing happening. Actually, what they are trying to do, they are trying to gather votes, or they, and again, they are trying to tarnish the image of the ruling party, of which they won't manage. Uh, are you saying that there is no violence happening? There is nothing like that. Because uh, I was at home last last month. Mm. I didn't see political violence happening because I didn't see opposition, I mean parties campaigning. But before I went there, there was violence in Matopo, which is where I come from. Zanu Pierce was fingered in that one. We saw even videos. Just recently, I think it's Makunji, we saw people stoning what is supposedly a triple C campaign vehicle there. In Bulawayo, I have bought people who are in triple C weapon. They showed me messages. We are going to publish some of them, of course. Mm-hmm. Being threatened with death. In Cholojo, the same thing is happening. And you're saying, there is a lawyer who has just beaten up just recently. And you're saying these things are not happening. So now, when somebody hears you saying this, and they've been a victim, what do you think they would think about you? I will, uh, this one, I will say it clearly that uh, those, those things, they happen. Yeah. But they are not from the ZANPF people. They just do it, you know, you know what? They create, uh, they create something. They just take a, a ZANPF T-shirt, then they wear that ZANPF T-shirt. Then tomorrow it's gonna come out as if it's ZANPF people. I, I'm saying to you that, that now I'm saying, if that thing happens, we have got police report that to the police. Let those people get arrested. But ZANPF are saying that they are the police, and I would say that this is interesting because you're saying that uh, there are people who wear ZANPF in Kenya mm-hmm. to go and attack people. Yes. Why does it? Because if you use my image to do something bad, for example, you take my pictures, you put them on Facebook, you start doing things that I don't identify with. The first thing that I would do is I would be the main one person about that because I would want to clean my to, to, to clear myself from all this. Zanu PF is in charge of government. The police report to the Zanu PF minister who is in government. Mm. And the party that can prove that these are imposters is Zanu PF. Why is Zanu PF not concerned about exposing these people? We've never seen some of these people exposed to say, this is a triple C person, we know they are a member of triple C, they were masquerading as Zanu PF. They beat up people here, they've been arrested. You know why it's difficult for us to do that? Mm. It's easy for, for them. To, to do that for the two people because you know we are an organized uh, party you know? we have got members that people say they don't have members so they don't have cars they are not registered under the people say even if we 
uh, kill that person, then you say we are belong to Triple C. There's no proof that person belongs to Triple C because he's not registered under Triple C. But for me now, if you say I'm a ZANPF, I'm a card holder of ZANPF, I'm under ZANPF. Those people, they are from Triple C, but they are not registered because they don't, they don't have structures. So, uh, but they belong to Triple C. Yeah, but let's say, okay, let's say there's no proof that they're Triple C mm. because they don't have cards. Mm. But the first thing is that if you stole somebody, you are a criminal. Yes. Committed a criminal offense. Why do we have them arrested as criminals? We, we, we masqueraded as some PF people without being some PF people because they don't have the cards of some PF. But they went out there, they beat up people, masquerading as some PF people, they, they are imposters. Why then don't we have them arrested and paraded to say they claim that there are some PF people, they don't get triple C vehicle, but we have discovered that they are not some PF people and we were taking them to court. I will I was say to you, just to a follow up, those people they were arrested. Just make a follow up, you will find. We will find we will that so that I will know because that in Ulawa. Go to, to, I will give an example. Go to Matopo. What, what happened during those, those by elections? Ne? Yes, yes, yes. Just make a follow up on that one. Those people were arrested. Why then do we have them parity? Because you want to clear no. yourself. Why yeah. keep it under wraps? To say this, and without even having just to clear some PF, it would also deter would be offenders to say, if you do this, you're going to get arrested. As we are asking you now, I'm clearing that those people are not, under, not from some PF. But we, we, we ended over, we ended them over to the police. So now they, they were under police, so we are out of that story. But the truth is, it's like, it's like I'm telling you that they are not belong to some PF. I'm clearing that. You're feeling that? Yes. Okay. Let me put you on the spot. You are a political commissar. Can you address people here mm. as a ZANU-PF political commissar, mm. addressing ZANU-PF supporters mm. just in 30 seconds, mm. denouncing violence, including from those who do it in the name of ZANU-PF, who are ZANU-PF people, including all veterans? Can you do that? I would say to them, uh, my comrades out there, we all heard that our president is saying no to violence. Let's go out there and campaign for our president, our member of parliament, our councillors, without fear. Uh, we, and uh, I will also say no to violence, like our president said, no to violence. If you are found, you find yourself uh, involved in that, you will be arrested. And can you tell fellow ZANU-PF members to expose those that are doing violence in the name of zanu yes. If you found any, or if you see anyone who is doing violence, whether that person is from ZANU-PF or Triple C or any political party, may you please take that person to the police. Please don't hesitate. We say no to violence. We want to win these elections free and fair. Thank you. Sorry for having to comment here. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the next question uh, is from what you already just said, that you want to, free, to win the elections free and fair. Um, are you confident going to the elections that Zanu PF is going to win and that President Emerson Nagawa is going to win? No doubt. No doubt. No. And, and where, where, where do you base, I mean, what do you base your confidence in? Because um, it is a truth, the truth that uh, Inflation is still skyrocketing in Zimbabwe. There is no money in the in the banks. Uh, there is still high unemployment. Zimbabweans are still leaving the country in their troops. So, and to all those who have been affected by this uh, economic downturn, they blame it on Zambia. Mm. So, where do you get the trust that people are going to vote you back? Uh, with uh, this new dispensation. If you check the record, our record, even though we are facing that uh, we, that inflation, whatever we are facing now, but uh, I think our president is trying by all means. You can go, you can check the roads uh, from Bait Bridge to Harare. You can check even Bait Bridge uh, along the yeah. border, border post. You will see that. Actually, you can check now. Even, even if you can check the, we don't have lot checking now. It's home. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's doing something. He's doing a lot. Um, I, I'll be very fair to you. Like I told you, I was in Zimbabwe for two weeks. 
I went to get to renew my passport. The process was very fast. <coughs> I'll give it to that. The bank will spread the post. Of course, there was public private sector cooperation by the government paid for that one. Mm. I'll give it to them. I've seen some roads, but the Bulawa paid for the future road, I think you would admit that is one of the worst mm. right now. But when I got home, um, I saw a number of cheaper trucks mm. that were busy finding the road, the Bulawa case road, which has been an ISO for a very long time. Then you know that the Cholocho Bulawa road again. They promised us some 10 kilometers every year. Yes. And I'm, uh, I'm sure they've done some 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers. But the Bulawayo Kai Road is still like that. Of course, I admit it won't happen one time. one time. But now, there are basics. For there to be production, there should be a currency. Mm -hmm. And Zimbabwe has got uh, one of the worst currency regimes right now. Find a voting government. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask you why that is so, mm -hmm. but I'm saying, as an ordinary Zimbabwe, why would I vote a party that is presided over this? So I want you, to, as a political commissar, because you interact with people, mm -hmm. I want you to bounce off what these people are saying is the reason that they're going to vote as a PF, despite all these other things. You've mentioned these minimal uh, gains, mm -hmm. the electricity issue. I admit, I'm told it's been three weeks mm -hmm. with electricity in Zimbabwe, but we've seen some of these glimpses mm -hmm. of change whenever we near elections. Mm -hmm. And once the elections are over, we go back to the default mode. So why should Zimbabweans out there trust that this time is going to last? You mean electricity? Not only electricity, but these glimpses of change yeah. are going to be maintained after mm -hmm. 23 August. Okay, if I'm careful. Yeah, I would say, uh, I'll start with the roads. Eh? Yeah. Definitely the roads. Bay uh, uh, Victoria Falls Road. Bay Bridge, now to Victoria Falls. It's on plan now. This one uh, is, going, is going to be constructed, definitely. And also Mkai, Bulawai uh, Mkai. And also. Uh, Actually, the road, all roads in, in Kai will be constructed, and the uh, Rupane roads will be constructed. This time, we are dealing with all the roads in Matebele land, they will be all constructed. So, I, I believe that one is going to be. Uh, we don't have any doubt on that one. Okay. As we can see, we are, we, we are busy uh, constructing the roads. When it comes to electricity, definitely, like uh, I said, Wange, you saw what happened to Wange. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. definitely, we are not going back. We are not going back. Yeah. Uh, that much I promise you. You won't see. You we won't come across any load shedding. Okay. Yes. Uh, like I said, I don't want to ask you questions that are made for government, mm. but I'm asking you that from your interaction with ordinary mm. supporters, is this what they are telling you, or this is because? Now I realize that you are talking from an insider's point of view because your party is the one that is governing. But I'm saying the confidence that you have that you are going to win free and fair because you interact with the people. Yes. Is it that they're telling what they're telling? Actually, people they were complaining about food. There was there was no food, there was no food at home. But now, if you can go to the all the shops, yeah, there's food. Okay. You can ask even for a chat piece of fire. there. Before, we used to see uh, firewoods. We were, were okay. Now you see all the shelves are full. That much, when it comes to food, we are, we are, done, we are done with the food. Then it come, when it comes to uh, uh, water, mm -hmm. you, you, are, you will say, I'm, 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 I'm going deep into, I'm supporting you know, my party too much. But you know what is happening. to support your party. You're here to support your party. Uh, the the Zambezi water project. Water project. Yeah. Now I think it's more than eighty percent now. Of which definitely you will see a green belt from all my people in North. Even yeah. even Bulawa, you won't see any water shedding again. That much is now more than eighty percent. That means we are about to finish that one. Okay. Yes. Um, and then uh, we have spoken about the lack of unity in Zimbabwe. 
within, I mean, the Zimbabwean population, Zimbabweans being disunited. Uh, I want to understand. You say people insulted you. Mm -hmm. I saw some of the comments yes. insulting yes. you for being the very insulting. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, how do you feel? What brought you to this part? Because I've known you for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you from Zapo. Mm -hmm. Were you already were, were you planted in Zapo? No. You were not. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what what is in the way? I want to understand this. I know it is more personal than anything else. But I want to understand why you would or what led you into joining Zambia? Because one, I would admit myself that I don't believe Zambia is a NDVL, I mean a Shona party or a NDVL party. I believe it's a Zimbabwean party. Mm -hmm. But also, I would believe that most of these parties that amass move, movements in Zimbabwe, uh, they have this tribal uh, disequilibrium, mm -hmm. let me say, mm -hmm. where NDVL must be, a, I mean, a, a deputy and a Shona must be the president. Mm -hmm. So I want to understand what led you into joining that particular party, knowing that the highest you can be is a vice president. No, 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 that's not, that is, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah. Uh, ZANPF is a revolutionary party. There was an agreement, uh, uh, but by that time I was young, uh, between, uh, between yeah. Joshua Ngo yes. and uh, the Arajim Khan. Yes, yes. That much I don't know. That's what that's the Zan Pio that I'm in now. Okay. I'm not in that Zan Pio that you know, the Zan one. Yes. I'm in Zan Pio. That one it, uh, it was four points that I was I was not even born. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm in this Zan Pio that uh, that united in nineteen eighty seven. What I realized, I realized that Zan Pio is a is a party that you, it's the only party in Zimbabwe that unites everyone. Okay. It doesn't care where you come from. It only cares, it only cares that you are Zimbabweans. And it only cares on, for all Zimbabweans. That's why we always say Zimbabwe is a pocket that, that fits everyone. All Zimbabweans, regardless of your type, color, whatever, you, you, you qualify to be ZPF person, remember? And as a political commissar, how do you feel you are from a president? You are a political commissar here in South Africa. How do you feel to see people, certain people, saying that they would rather not be called Zimbabweans, they would rather be called anything else, they can be Tawazi, Kunwe, and all this stuff? Because I believe that as a political commissar, without even having to convert people to your party, the other uh, duty is to try and reach out to them to say, Fine, we may be different politically, but at the end of the day, we belong in the same country, we have the same citizenship, let's have our differences without having to have some, somebody trying to pull out. Have you tried that? And what, how do you feel to have people choosing not to be called Zimbabweans? Um, that one, I, I, I don't even understand why people they chose that. It was, um, some they are basing on that issue of Kukurawondi and what what they are only basing on that one. Yeah. Of that one, what if that one is solved tomorrow? What are they going to say next day? Um, hey, have you interacted with them? I'm, I'm always with them. Because the other thing, they are made, of course, some of them have never seen Kukurawondi. Yeah. Of course, I will admit that some of them are using Kukurawondi as a a, a ploy to to to, to care people's favor, but at the end of the day, they are also complaining of uh, the unfair distribution of national wealth, of national resources, and they are saying that there is an invasion or a seeming invasion of people from other provinces. In Matebelele, they will talk about even deployments in government departments, and I'm not saying influence government. I am saying, because I know you are just one person and you may not be able to influence government, but I am saying as a political party and as a political commissar in this uh, instance, what is it that you guys are doing, not only you, the whole commissariat of San Pierre, to try and say, it. despite all our differences, tribalism should not be one of the ways we illuminate this. Uh, I would say, actually, I'm from that region. Yeah. Uh, Matibele region. And we, 
we are also affected by this. Uh, our brothers from MRP, yeah. they, say they want Zimbabwe to be divided yeah. into two of each. Um, that's what they want, but I always tell them that my, uh, we, we like that. Okay, let, let's unite, let's become one. Let's be one. Then, if I know that there is a problem, you have got your own problem with the, uh, the ruling party. But avoid uh, that uh, word, let's divide our account. Yeah. Why? What's the reason of dividing our account? We are all one. So if we say we are dividing our account tomorrow, I, I don't know, maybe I'm I, I, I'm maybe I'm, I'm from Mashim. I don't even know where I come from. That's why I always tell, I always tell them, I, I speak in the It's not that I'm the Okay. But I speak in the It's not that they, they are shona. They speak shona. They are not shonas. Yeah. We don't have shonas. We don't have Ndebele in Zimbabwe. We've got only Zimbabweans who speak different languages. If we all understand that, if we all understand that, I don't think there's going to be any problem. Let's understand that we are all Zimbabweans. We come from different regions. We come from different provinces. We speak different languages. Yes. But when you have uh, you are a, a, a governing party and you are seeing these things, these fissures, among the people that you are leading, the first thing to do it would be for you to take the lead. We had the president calling people who saying, yeah, what what it is I mean it will be shorted. And I would say, as our father, we that is the least that we expected from him. Now, let's leave him there. You are the political commissar. South Africa to you is a district, right? It's a district. Right. There are political parties here mm. who to them South Africa is a province. We've got SAPU, mm. we've got MRP, we've got uh, several other parties. Mm. Why don't you take the lead from your department? Because I want to ask you more about your department mm. before we go anywhere else. Why don't you take the lead to say, there is this problem. I personally cannot just walk anywhere because now people identify me as a sellout or belonging. You're exercising your political, I mean, your, your constitutional right exactly. to belong to any party that you want. Mm. I won't judge you for that. Mm. You've got your own reasons, and those reasons are similar. You've got the same right as someone who belongs to a or any other party. But to say we cannot preside over a country which is divided like this, mm. why don't you make the first step to say, guys, you've got your problems, but let's meet, let's discuss, let's act politically, but Knowing who we are, uh, we once did that. We once did that. It's only that when we are doing that, some some com some other uh, fellow country members, yeah, uh, they don't have that. <laughs> who understand that they don't want to understand the situation. No, they don't, that's why to sit down and uh, who come now, then at the end who I fight. Yeah, but that's because that's because there are unresolved issues. Because there are issues that are outstanding. Okay. I won't talk about the okay. because okay. there were efforts to try and address okay. people. I would say on that one, there are, we, we cannot solve that those problems here in South Africa. We cannot solve those problems here in South Africa. And that's why I say they are busy trying to solve those problems at home. Yeah. Here what we can do is to unite. And remember we are outside the country now where we are one here. Yeah, we are our, and they, we came here just because of the one reason to take care of our kids, parents, everyone there at home. Yes, but if we you, you, now, if, if, if I see you uh, suffering or sweating, I have to help you because we are, we are my fellow uh, countrymen. Yeah, but yes. you have to see me as your fellow countrymen exactly. you have to help me because if you see me like as an enemy, then, then, you are not going to do that exactly because. Uh, you've already said yourself that people came here and most of them who came here or those who came here are hanging it on some PF. I came here not because I came here to say for it, to, to, to seek a job. Mm -hmm. I came here because the government back home wanted me dead. You know my story. I know your story is yeah. different from uh, but of course for the first time I went home, uh, for the first time in twelve years I went home last month. I even interacted with the police and there was nothing happening. But before I went there, there was assurances from the government that we know that you're a political a victim of politics, uh, political intolerance. They told me, 
what you always you guys are talking about that this is the second republic mm-hmm. we're not following that and i interacted with people i even met the mp is a deputy minister and mm-hmm. there wasn't a problem but i am saying there are people who came here who cannot have the same privilege as me yeah. to say your problem has been resolved or to try and interact with certain people but there are also economic refugees who came here and they are paying so pay for everything that is happening and that is fair because Zanupia is in charge of the country. I know you're going to tell me about sanctions, but yes, I would say there's also looting, there is political intolerance. I'm a victim of that. There's a lot happening there which Zanupia as a party can arrest. Yes. Why is it not arresting that? So when you meet me here in South Africa and then you say, let's meet here, I would, I would be aggrieved mm. because I would say, I've got a beating wound which has not yet been fixed. And you want me to sit down with you and start having dinner with you. There's pain on my board. You see? So as a political commissar of a party that is in charge, you interact with other political commissars. Mm-hmm. Do you have, don't you have, like, make the reports that you send to say, people here are angry. We cannot walk freely. And I, I hope that, or I believe that they also fear for your safety. Mm-hmm. To say, people are angry. Yeah, please are, address such and such an issue so that I can freely walk here in Zimbabwe and can warm up to you as well. That one we, uh, we are writing reports every now and then. They, but they are not being no, considered by... They, they are considered. Mm. Remember, this is not our, uh, our country. Yeah. They can't come from Zimbabwe and address that here in South Africa. It is our duty to... Our purpose, we, we know each other here. Yes. We are approaching, we, we are talking, we are interacting. But at home there, they are always saying that, please, just be one. We are all Zimbabweans. You go out there, don't forget your brother, don't forget your sister. Don't forget your sister. I will give you an example that uh, the reason why I will see is Zimbabwe is one. As you know, that I'm a former soldier. Yeah. I was in DRC. I'm still alive. I'm here. You know, the person who was covering fire for me, yeah. that person speaks a different language. Is That person was not speaking Debele. But I'm still, he was covering fire for me. Yeah. I'm still alive. So tomorrow, you want me to reject that person, to call that person a, a Tonga or a Shona or a whatever? No. For, no I'm not talking to, about tribe. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about <laughs> this political intolerance, yes. first and foremost, and this uh, anger towards a government or a party that has failed to govern. And at the end of the day, we find ourselves having to be here. You spoke about what happened to the ambassador. And the general view out there is that Elvis was killed by intolerant South Africans, but they had to find him in South Africa for them to kill him. They didn't go to Zimbabwe to kill him. They didn't kill him while he came here to do some shopping. They killed him because he was an economic refugee living in a volatile area where he which is the only place where he could afford to pay rent. But now, why was he here? Why was he here? It's because there is a failing party which is in government back home. It's not a failing party, but people, uh, they are directing their efforts to the wrong party. They know where the situation started from. Where, where is that? Yeah. From the MTC. After they also. After this, they, they asked for, for, uh, for the sanctions from uh, the Western countries. Now we are suffering. I'm here. I'm also I'm here just because of them. Mm-hmm. I'm here. I'm suffering here in South Africa. They are, we are all suffering here in South Africa just because of them. But I'm not. Mm-hmm. I give you two sets of people. Mm-hmm. There are people who came here mm-hmm. uh, because of the economic downturn. Mm-hmm. You are blaming it, it on the MDC. They are blaming it uh, on Zanu PF. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I want you to answer for Zanu PF. Mm-hmm. There is looting that is taking place in Zimbabwe. You cannot deny that. It is being done under the cover uh, of San Pierre. Uh, there are people who came here as political refugees. I'm one of them because of San Pierre. There are people who came here uh, after Operation Number Two in 2005. That was because of San Pierre. You cannot deny this, can you? No, I will deny that I'm looting, looting, uh, who is looting actually? Are you saying there's no looting? I did, we know, if there's anything happening like that, mm. let those people get uh, be arrested. But, but you guys are the army, you are the police, you are everything. Yeah, no, we are not. 
we they are under a government they employed by the government and the government is un PF the only the government is un PF that's why we're saying that but if anyone does that is doing anything corruption like corruption yeah. let that person be arrested but who does the back stop with no I, it stops with Zalo PF no, 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 arrest because there's capture there's capture to my son Zalo PF has captured the army they no. captured the we saw the army resolving Zalo PF issues mm. That means the army is working for some PF. They've captured the police. They've captured every state arm. No. So who arrest who? Because no. the guards no. are the ones that are committing these atrocities. So we're supposed to guard. We, we, we have an independent army. We have an independent police. They just do. The, it's funny that uh, I said the government is formed by the PF. That's why this, we say they are. Uh, we are the army. We are everything. Was uh, Zanpiev is is in charge, but we have got an independent arm. They do uh, their own things there, and we have got independent police. They do their own things there. Are they independent? They are hundred percent independent. I think in Africa we are one of the country that is what an independent army and independent police. But isn't the army involved in the affairs of Zanpiev? No, it's not involved. But they took over. They took out. A government. I mean, a, a, a whole president was removed by the army, and we saw soldiers retiring today to be in government tomorrow, and to be Zanu-PF commissars tomorrow. I remember the current president introducing Chiwenga when he was the general of the army as a Zanu-PF political commissar, and there was no contestation around that. Even the president who was there didn't even take him to task. Um, you 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 would know that I worked in the Central mm. and I wouldn't want us to be talking about these things. But you know yourself that right? you were in the army. I was in the Central mm. Both of us know that there is no independence there. Mm. So why then would you believe that the Central would arrest people who are committing uh, fraud, who are laundering money, who are even uh, smuggling resources from outside? I mean, from the country. Why they are in Zanupia? They, uh, 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 they are hamstrung. Our uh, uh, constitution says we have an a, a independent police. That's what the constitution says. says. And the, the other thing, let's not deny that. Don't forget that uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Europe, Zimbabwe, and Europe, we fought for that country. We all fought for we it. We all fought for that country. And uh, don't forget that the ruling party is the revolutionary party. It's a different part, meaning that some of the leaders in the army, some of the leaders in the police, they are from uh, this uh, pre- uh, former revolutionary party, some they are from uh, Zapo, some they are from Zanu. Mm-hmm. So those are the leaders of well. That's why you see them resigning and joining the parties, resigning. And the, it's their rights, they are still free to join even Triple C. So, so, you, so you do admit that. <laughs> There is no independence, or there is limited independence no. within this it's, structure. It's their choice to join ZPF. It's their choice. They, they are even, it's still, they're even free to join to proceed. That's, that's their rights. They can okay. still join um, I will leave that one because we'll track on. <laughs> um, right. I mentioned the the the, 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 the squandering of uh, resources. The second one being Operation Robots, which also brought people here. Mm. That's just what nothing to do with sanctions, mm. right? We have to admit that it's Zanupiev which is responsible for that. The other one, political victims mm. like me mm. who came here, it's got nothing to do with sanctions. Mm. So, fine, I believe myself that sanctions are hitting the mm. But also, you have to uh, accept yourself that. ZANU-PF has had a bigger hand in this because we cannot be talking about just sanctions when we know that there is a lot of incompetence in government bodies, we have got uh, political victims, we have got, you have had things like Operation Number 2, you have had uh, violence taking place. So, I want us to, uh, to agree here that some of the Zimbabweans, or most of the Zimbabweans that came here know nothing about sanctions, they are not even victims of sanctions. I would say uh, some some of them uh, is not, uh, some of some of the people who came here in South Africa. Some they don't even know. Actually, we it is our duty 
mm-hmm. to make them understand. Yeah, it is our job to make. That's why you see always uh, we have got uh, a, a sanction day, which was set by uh, uh, Satak. Yeah, yes. It, it that day we, we use it to actually to make them aware of that day. They are they just uh, they are here not just because of. Uh, ZANPF, they are but also because of ZANPF. No, ZANPF doesn't. Yeah, there's no place for ZANPF there. Yeah, but I mentioned some of the things that pushed people outside. No, no, people, people, uh, uh, make me understand why ZANPF. Where is it entering? I, I, I've spoken about Operation Number Two. Yeah, that's ZANPF. Well, you, you no, it drove. In fact, the highest number of Zimbabweans that left the country mm. after Bukura went mm. came in 2005. Yeah. After operation number five. Right. Oh, let me stop you here. The second one, mm. there are political victims who came here. Mm. Let's talk from 1980. Mm. Kukura let's talk about 2000, political violence, and then 2008. Mm. Mafotera was in Zima, was one of the people that left. Mm. So that's an appeal, that's not sanction. No, that's why I was still there, in, um, but I, I don't know about that. Okay, this is my first uh, time I, here. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> If you admit it here, you might disappear again tomorrow. No, so I, I, I know nothing about that. Put it aside. All right. Put it like I would say um, that one for uh, Umra Batshina. Mm. Umra Batshina, uh, that was 2005. Yes. The life was already difficult there. And that's what, that was uh, the time when, when the sanctions were uh, they were just imposed. Eh? So yeah. It was difficult for no, the, the, the Zidera, the first the Zidera was written in 2001. 2001, yes, in but that was because already mm. the economy went down mm. through ISA, mm. that was the PF in charge, but no sanctions. Mm. Then it went haywire again in 1996 mm. when you guys gave war veterans unbudgeted mm. money. It went down again in 1998, 97, 98, when the mm. annual was taken to the DRC. There were no sanctions then. Mm. That was something to it. And that's when the economy began to not die. Mm. So you have to admit that, of course, the sanctions added or gave you a leeway to say we are failing because of this. But ZANU PF also, if it has to be considered a genuine party, if Zimbabwe is able to maintain faith in Zanu PF, you have to admit some of these things. Like, of course, here we got it wrong, so that you'll be able to correct. We corrected all our mistakes. How <laughs> about you? Okay. If, 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 if you can check, after 1999, there was an agreement between, uh, I'll just touch a little bit, between um, uh, Zanu and the the British uh, uh, before, before elections. Yeah. Then when Zanpia Zan took Zan over, yes, when took over up to 1990, they were supposed to uh, they were supposed to say to sell uh, back to those farms. Yeah. Yes, but that never happened. Né? Then they went back to them. They refused to give uh, back our, our farms. That one I won't touch it too much. But from there, the, the Isapu, we said Isapu, and then 19. Isapu, and the war veterans. They, 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 were, they, were, they were supposed to be compensated after the uh, hard working uh, uh, job that when they did. given demobilization funds when they came back from yeah. war, they went. Yeah, but we, 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 they were still uh, busy. Uh, with that, but then that was the first thing is you boost the economy, then you give people money. Yes. You don't give people money from an economy that is already failing. After that, if, if, if you can check, because I still remember that's the time when I went to DRC yes. checking the dollar and the the, 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 the American dollar and the is not in dollar, mm. it was one is two six by that time, it was okay, so it, it was not that bad. It was not that bad. Yeah, but then it then wasted after it, that. It wasted that after uh, the, the formation of a uh, triple C, I mean the MTC. It MTC. did. I'm not, I'm not denying that. Yeah. It did. But what I'm saying is, I've said myself and I've always said that, I've always maintained that there are sanctions against Zimbabwe. They must be removed. They are hating the Zimbabwe economy. But I'm also saying this Anu PF mm. uh, should be the last party to talk about sanctions being removed because the sanctions are there 
because of the machinations of Zanupia, because of some of the things that Zanupia did wrong. Uh, I was there in Zimbabwe during the so-called land reform. It was a good idea. Land reform was a good idea. I still support it. But the way it was done, it was politicized, it was racialized. That is Zanupia's doing. So Zanupia has to admit that. It has to. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because if you don't admit some of these things that you are doing wrong, mm. it means you are going to repeat mm. them. It, it means you are going to be less about them. We, we, we did nothing wrong with ZANPF. We did nothing wrong. Whatever you are doing is ZANPF, we, we, we first think about our, our people first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we and who are not your people? Because these guys that you, all dispossessed, Muslims, that you dispossessed of their, their farms mm. are your people. They're no, we people. never. We, we, what, we remember what we said. We said one man, one farm. That's what mm -hmm. we agreed. But they refused that. Yeah. Yes, that they decided to go. Then we said, hey, 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 it's okay. Let them go. Some are still there. Then we have people like Bonham that are having 21 farms. That much I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Much I, uh, I don't want us to end up having this type of war. <laughs> we will leave that for the viewers to judge. And then um, there is another issue. I want to continue bringing you back to South Africa. Uh, the issue of um, Zimbabwe exemption permits. Mm. You guys, both ZANU PF and ANC, mm. they told us that you are sister parties. Mm. What is it that you guys are doing in as far as resolving this issue of ZEPs being cancelled, people being taken to court, your own member took the government to court, we saw him insulting the minister, even here that at some point he was threatened with death. What is it that you are doing for Zimbabweans to try and amicably reach an agreement with the ANC as far as the ZEP is concerned? This, that one is at the highest level, they are dealing with that one. Uh, but as you can see, I will say uh, there is a head of that PF, that's why you see these things that uh, this, this, uh, they are happening like this. Yeah. yeah. The head of that PF is there, the head of uh, that PF. The head of that PF, Vajitam. No, 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 not Vajitam. Vajitam is an, uh, an advocate, he's standing for, he's not, he's not representing that PF. Okay. Yeah, but he, he is your yeah. member, right? Yeah, he's our member. Yeah, so the, if there is something happening at the highest level, why would he decide to take is, is it, does it, to, to, to take the South African government to court? Is it because he knows that there is nothing, there is no agreement being reached or likely to be reached between South Africa and the No, I can't tell you. I, 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 I said I'm the political concern of Zambia. That means I. I I I am senior than Chitan. Okay. So I'm telling you, you're not briefing him. Yeah. I, I, I know he is doing his job. Okay. That side outside ZANPF. I'm here representing ZANPF. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm telling you now that it's not that we are sitting. Okay. The, uh, ZANPF and the NC, there is a certain agreement. So let's leave it that to the highest level. They know what they are doing. Mm. Uh, the high court said. Don't text Zimbabweans. Let them, let them stay there and wait for the. I, I understand that the, the matter was taken to. Uh, yeah, the minister is appealing. Is appealing. They are appealing. But do you uh, do you have confidence that at the end of the day there will be an amicable solution and Zimbabwe as well as the ZEP will find themselves smiling again? Uh, whatever outcome that he will accept, whatever outcome. Out. So you're not sure what the outcome is? No, I'm, I'm not the one who's there. Oh, okay. I, 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 I'll also wait for the, uh, the government to... They, they will tell us what, what's going to happen. But for now, uh, Zimbabwe is still open. People, they can come back home. It's open. If they think that they are not uh, treated well here, yeah. they can come back home. But okay. some say it's worse there. The no. treatment that they receive from their own government is even worse than what they are being subjected to here. What kind of they need, they need assurance that kind of they if, they, if they can tell us that we are treated like this, I think they are safer if they are at home there. 
they are safe, hundred percent safe. They are in, in safe hands there at home. If, if if they can tell us one thing that you no, know, if we go back home, that's what they do. Some they just say the economy for starters because they, the economy well, should be welcoming. Economy, yeah. you, you see the, the uh, what is happening at home. But I will go back there. I mean, I will go home. It's fast. There's no money in the banks. Yes. There is nothing that I can do to get money. There is no jobs. Okay. What, what, what are they doing here? What are they doing here? Uh, uh, that is. Uh, what, what, what are they doing here to make money? What are they doing here? They are working. Some are doing many jobs. Some are working in what I mean in the hotel and catering industry, restaurants. Some are security officers. Some are working domestic. I mean jobs. So at home they don't have uh, security companies. This yeah. Uh, them persisting to be here despite these conditions must be symptomatic of the worst situation at home. Because if I'm a Zimbabwean myself, if I find myself, my situation here being worse than what I can get home, I would rather go back home. And we're talking here about people who are going home every holiday. So it means that they go there, they see that, no, 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 it's unlivable, let me go back. No. Um, that one, I won't agree with you on that one when it comes to that one. Uh, that means if you have got a plan, let's say you, you want to start your own business there. Yeah. Our government offices, they are open. I'm also advising them, don't hesitate, don't doubt yourself, just go to any uh, government offices, then they will assist you. You will be starting on there's no way for the a start. But, but, you know, if but you, there's no respect for property ownership. They, 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 we they, have Sikosami Manu mm -hmm. going to court every day, mm -hmm. he wins court cases, mm -hmm. his uh, produce is chopped down, he goes back to court, they are threatening to take over his stuff, there are people are losing stuff there. Mm -hmm. That one uh I I, I I won't say much when, when it comes to that one. <laughs> okay. The, the, the next thing <laughs> is uh, there is a worrying problem that is happening, uh, and I will tie this with xenophobia. Mm -hmm. Every time a crime is committed, the first people that are fingered as Zimbabweans, even without evidence that these people are Zimbabweans, mm -hmm. uh, we had this issue of a crooker store where there were mass rapes there, people were arrested, and the nationality that was put at the forefront was Zimbabweans. Then we discovered that out of the 87 Zimbabweans that were arrested, I don't know if, I mean, out of the 87 people that were arrested, none of those was, I mean, were linked, that none of those were linked with the rape. But Zimbabweans had already been beaten up, about four of them, we attended some of their funeral proceedings, were killed there. You have the issue of Elvis not being killed, you have they hit them, they went to Tarfontaine, there were people who shot cops, yeah. they were arrested. He said all of these are Zimbabweans, and we discovered that only three or four of them are Zimbabweans. From a Zanu PF point of view, do you feel that you are doing enough? And I'm tying this, I'm going to conflate this. Zanu PF and government, are you doing enough to try and make sure that? Zimbabweans are protected in South Africa by the South African government that they are not singled out. We had Phil Mbaluda just recently, he's the SG of the ANC, saying the wall of Zimbabwe is here. Mm. And we don't see anything that you guys are doing. We have never seen you issue a statement to say, no, 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 this is wrong. We've never seen the government, which is under your care, mm. saying, no, 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 because I believe that if you arrest me, for rape or committing any form of crime before you declare that he's a Zimbabwean on the scene. Mm -hmm. Because I can lie and say I'm a Zimbabwean when I'm a Mozambican or a South African. Mm -hmm. You should reach out to the consulate and say, he claims to be a Zimbabwean. Mm -hmm. Is he verified as a Zimbabwean? And once the court, only when the consulate has said, yes, he is a Zimbabwean, can the South African government minister then come out and say, yes. We arrested so much, I mean so many Zimbabweans. And do you think Zimbabweans are protected here in South Africa? Okay. By the ANC and by the people? Okay. Uh, like, I, I, I'll go back to your point. Uh, when you said we, we are not visible, maybe it's Zan PF. Yeah. Or people, they know that, that is Zan PF, but uh, they are scared 
of oppression and said I'm going to conflate this with government. Yes. So now here we are here as a, a political party, like any other political party, yeah. is not a political party. But we are going back home. We are in charge. We are in, we are in government. So I, I, I appeal to everyone: if they come across that situation, mm. please don't hesitate to approach our office. But, but you live within people. Mm. You are one of the people who get affected by this. You mm. don't need me to approach you to say there is this happening. As a political party, you say you write reports. Mm. You can't even write to the person in charge yes. or even to the secretary for administration yes. to say. We have this problem here. Zimbabweans are being victimized for things that some of, I mean, some of them haven't done, and Zimbabweans are wholly blamed for things that they haven't done. We have Zimbabwean truck drivers being beaten up. They are here legally, they are working legally, but they have been beaten up. Some of them have been killed. Some of them have had trucks bent down. You can write to him and say, okay, can you reach out to government? To talk to the why do you talk to the ANC? Because Barulas equivalent is open to both, right? Exactly. He can write to him. The president to president can talk. Uh, government to government as well. Because we're talking here about sister parties that are in charge of both countries. We're talking about governments that are under these two sister parties. Or is it because some people doesn't care about Zimbabwe why they just pull up because they are perceived to be supporting the opposition? No, no, no there's no one supporting opposition. Even if we can do the elections here, you know that it definitely we are going to win. You know people that support some people. But now I would say we uh, we do care about the, uh, our people here. Yeah. Yes. What well, each and every week we submit the reports at home. Yeah. They are aware, hundred percent aware of the situation here. Yes. I think uh, like you said, uh, uh, Mbalula to, to, to open both, they communicate both is the, the administrators, because we, we write, yeah. with myself as the commissar, I write to Comrade Bima, I report yes. to Comrade Bima, then I report to Comrade Bima, the admin, all, everything regarding administration, we report it to Comrade Robert both of which they are aware of the situation, and they, believe me, they are dealing with these situations, then soon everything will be okay. But when, when these situations, I came here in 2008 mm. and it keeps on worsening. So it shows that either nothing is being done or something is being tried but is failing. I think if you are failing, you have to admit that no, 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 no. we are now failing we, we, to address this we, issue. We are, we are, the has taken a, a shift. We, we are not failing. We are not failing. And we are doing it right. And the, the other thing, uh, if you check, uh, Zimbabweans, we, we, they, they are fighting each other here. We are yeah. fighting each other as Zimbabweans here. That's the problem. Just because of the, I don't know, is this political situation? Yeah. Yes, political situation. So, some, if, if you approach them, okay, this is the situation. We have to sit down as the political parties. Yes. Sit down as the political parties. Then we come, we come up with a, a, we come up with a, maybe something. To protect our people here, but if if, if I stand as this NPF here, people from uh, another political party they won't understand me. But if as leaders of the political parties we sit down together, then we we'll come up with one point. You will see everything is going to be okay. But you you say that there is a you try that. Mm. Uh, I attended a meeting at Poison's. Yes, yes, but yes. that was soon after the the ambassador had been heckled yes. at the uh, theater, and. The concern was that, and I raised that in the meeting that you guys cannot be calling people. I hope you guys are not calling people here to do PR for the ambassador mm, no. uh, or for some PF. And straight to my mind is that meeting was the only meeting that was held and he died a uh, natural death. Uh, I, I I know that meeting, but I was not part of that meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I would say I, I don't know why that that, that that thing died. It's because the, probably the anger yeah. uh, over how the ambassador was treated died down. You know. Uh, no. We were actually there was supposed to be that one was supposed to be a starting point. Yes. And yeah. the promise was that at the end of the day, these political parties. Were going to be, uh, they were going to visit the embassy, talk to the ambassador, try and come up with solutions to this, and then all of a sudden, 
turned out to be only some PF members are allowed to go talk to the ambassador and they give feedback to these other guys. And people lost interest. They lost first they lost the confidence of this whole process and then they lost interest. Uh, that, uh, the other thing, I also blame you journalists for. Yeah, because it's like you are, it's rare if, 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 to see you guys approaching some uh, people. You are, you are always based on the opposition to you guys. But right? I'm here talking to you. Yeah, I've always yeah. interacted with you. Uh, yes, we're, we're, we're always together when we're praying to <laughs> meet that side, but not yeah. talking about this thing. But if we continue doing this, we continue doing this. Yeah. I'm telling you, you will see Zimbabwe going somewhere. But, but you, today you are with me. Today you are with me. Don't trust Zanupia. Well, they don't okay. because they are here just because of Zanupia. Yeah. No, so that's the, the, the that's person you should do, you should make the first step. is Zanupia to say no, 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 guys. We understand your situation, but we are saying this is the solution. Or let's come together to find the solution. Give us your, your views. We we'll give you ours. Let's understand why this one is doing this. This one is doing this so that at the end of the day we find each other because Zimbabwe is need to find each other. The ambassador himself is not going to be seen. We've been trying to reach out to him. Manda has promised that I'm going to bring you to the ambassador. I'm going to talk to him until he left to Zimbabwe. I don't know if he's still here, but at some point he was saying goodbye to me. Mm. He failed to bring me to them because we need to have these conversations with the ambassador so that people end up trusting him. Because trusting me after this interview. People are going to understand you better, they're going to understand Zanu PF better. But if Zanu PF keeps us at bay, then whatever we hear from other people, we are going to take. Uh, uh, let, let me say it, uh, this. Uh, I think it is better if you call, because uh, I, I know we've got uh, a number of uh, political parties here. Yeah. If you can uh, call all of us here, uh, let's say because we are the political commissar, that means call a political commissar from another part, political commissar, mm -hmm. different parties. Then we sit down. Then uh, because we are we are the ones who are in charge of recruiting people. Yeah. We are we are the ones who are talking to the people most of the time. If if someone decides from MRP to join ZPF, he will come straight to me. Yeah. That person, I'm the one who's going to uh, announce that person. Yes. yes. Okay. So. If you, you can do that, then we'll sit down and discuss that. Then, because this, that is our country. You say, if you can do me as a journalist. Yeah, because you are the ones who are, who are causing that. Because tomorrow you will call the, so, someone from MRP, is going to say this, call someone from uh, ZAP, is going to say this. Actually, they are good at blaming. So, you know that uh, it is not in politics. They are good at blaming. They are always blaming. They won't see anything. But good. you are the party in charge. Yeah. I expect you. To be the ones reaching out to these other places exactly. because you want uh, Zimbabwe to be working, exactly. and for as long as this division continues, Zimbabwe cannot be working for you. So I expect you to invite us as journalists to say we have called political parties to a cross political party dialogue. Can you come and cover? Because our duty is to cover; it's not to do PR for anyone. Our duty is to cover events. Yeah, I, I do understand that, but. Um we also it, it, maybe it, it's, it's going to be difficult for me to approach a, a political commissar from Triple C. But some of the uh, uh, political parties, I don't even know they are political commissar. Like Triple C, they don't have structures, so I don't know who is the in charge of organizing, who is the organizing secretary. Because I, I think they call him the organizing secretary. Yeah. Even Zapo, like, but Zapo, is, this is with some structures there. I, we can approach that one. Then, yeah, then why don't you do it? That, that's why I'm, I'm giving me a task. Ah, I'm giving me a task <laughs> for a journalist. Because you won't call him, you like what you did by calling me. Yeah. You can also do that. Yeah, you call him here. Yeah, you call him here. You call it two uh, triple C people here. Yeah. The triple C people, you call it triple C people. Yeah. They say whatever they say. Yeah. Well, and then they, they say whatever they say, we're not there. Yeah. Now, call us together. When we are calling, interview us together. Then do you know what the fear is going to be? Mm -hmm. I mean, the fear that we have. Mm -hmm. You will end up hitting our cameras. No, we first, never. First and foremost, I realized that between the Zanu PF and Triple C, mm -hmm. there is nobody who wants to take blame for what they did wrong. I was with Triple C here. Uh, they spoke. They didn't want to take the blame for their double candidates. They didn't want to take the blame for uh, failing to field candidates in certain positions mm -hmm. because they were blaming it to Zanu PF. Mm -hmm. 
Now you are here, you want to blame Triple C or MDC for governance failures that are clearly appear. So at the end of the day, I'm going to come here and accuse each other and up beating one another. No, 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 I don't have those hands. Because no. the first, uh, at first, before you can call people to town, mm. you must have this order of genuineness that, okay, mm. I take the blame for whatever I've done wrong. I plead for forgiveness for whatever I've done wrong. I'm remorseful for whatever I've done wrong. Mm. Therefore, I expect the other party as well to admit that they are wrong. Then at the end of the day, you start from here, I start from here, and we end up being here. We have reached a compromise. Then, but now it will be difficult because none of the Zimbabwean political parties wants to take the blame for what they did wrong. There is a blame game we're throwing. Mm. That's, that, that, that's, politi- that's game of politics, blaming each other, blaming each other. But once they know the truth, we know the truth. We know the truth. Whatever I have said the truth, actually, what I'm yeah. saying is the truth. When it comes to sanctions, we know nothing about sanctions. Sanctions were imposed by the Western countries based on certain things that you guys did. Uh-uh. We can't take that away from, from, uh, from the, 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 the no, no, we did nothing when, when it comes to that one. They wanted a regime change of which uh, someone went there was the why yeah, did you just wake up one day and say we want to change without but, but, without having grievances? Ah, because, because we wanted our uh, we wanted to take back our farms. That's that's the reason. That's the main reason. We wanted to take back our farms. They said no, you can't take back your farms. So this is the only way of fixing you guys. Then they they, they no, but the, the, the agrarian reform mm. was launched in two thousand, mm. right? There is a precursor to that. Mm. There was the strike of ninety seven and ninety eight. Mm. By civil servants, mm. where Mokin Songirai was the Secretary General mm. of uh, the CTU, mm. Gibson Spanda was the chair with the president. president of the they called for a strike because the situation economically was getting dire. Mm. Mokabe said, if you want to get into politics, mm. come to politics. Instead of addressing the grievances of the workers, then these guys formed a political party. They came together with the other NGOs. They formed a political party. There was nothing about farms back then. Then, then there was a referendum. In fact, before the formation of the NDC, mm. there was a, a constitutional outreach. Mm. Yes, the NCA campaigned against the new constitution, mm. and Mugabe accused whites mm. of sponsoring their workers mm. to go and vote against mm. his wishes. That's when the land reform issue began. Mm. So it wasn't because of uh, regime change, or not because of the agrarian reform that the MTC was formed or that the sanctions were brought in, but the MTC was formed because of these grievances that Zimbabwe has already had. We need to admit that, that at first, ZANU-PF blundered. After blundering, they wanted, because ZANU-PF had never lost an election, uh, before the referendum. Mm. They lost the referendum and they said, no, 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 Zimbabweans are angry with us. Mm. How can we make them happy? No, it's these whites. Mm. These Zimbabweans love us, but these whites mm. are sponsoring something else. Mm. Then they invaded their farms. Exactly. You see, mm. so uh, you have to admit that Zanu PF is wrong. No, uh, no it's, it's not. We, we saw the, that uh, their ambitions before that was like. But is it wrong for the Zimbabwean to? Aspire to be in government. It's not no, it's, it's right. That's their right. That's our constitution. Whether they are white or they are, black, whether they are white or black. Yes, because we, you know, we don't care about the car. So you cannot blame these people. Mm. Then the actions that you uh, you did afterwards mm. are the ones that ended up having us uh, thrown under sanctions. Mm. You have to admit that as well. No. As a party, not yourself as an individual, no, no, not, but as a party. No. But when, as, as we draw to a close, uh, let's talk about the elections. What percentage do give Zanu PF going to this election? Don't say 100%. Because no, I, I know they, I'm not going to give them. They, I, I'm not, we are not going to take 100% because there are some opposition parties in my Are you worried about Kasubo? No, we are not worried about anyone. As, uh, it's just what under the bridge. Seriously? Yeah, we don't count as well. Don't you have people within Zanupi who are support? Why likely to go and support? No, no, no. Vote for him. It's, it's, We've it's, seen what time Zem is with him. Mm-hmm. It's Zelenka Muka is with mm-hmm. him. We don't care. If you if, if knew we can be under Zanupi, we don't care. <laughs> it's, you know, we've done our ground. 
Okay. Yes, we are. Fighting right. crews, beating up people. Threatening no, we them. don't do that. We don't do that. Some people that we don't do that. That's not our way of punishing. We no. got, oh, since since. Uh, we, actually, I will talk about the new dispensation. We don't do that. This is our design PF. That, that's how we operate. Uh, we yeah. don't fight anyone. We just go to the people. We we, we, we just uh, rem- we just tell them about our uh, what we have done. Okay. They will yeah, see. Uh, what really interesting wrong. question to ask. Yes. So, uh, do you believe in triple C being a new party? A new party? Yeah. That was formed this year. No, you see, uh, yeah. Triple C is, is it a is it a party or is it it's an independent? Is it someone who is independent? No, it is a party. No. Uh, do you believe in them being a new party? Uh, you don't. No. But you believe in Nanga being heading a new dispensation and, and this being the second republic based on what? Of what we are doing, what is what he's doing? Okay. Now, what is doing? You can, you can even, you, you even know what is doing. You can even see. There's no need for you to know. You can see what he's doing. He deserves another chance. I, I wouldn't be the one to say that or <laughs> anything against yeah. it. Uh, you were saying. Uh, I was. I asked you a question. What percentage do you give yourselves going to this election? 70%. Seventy percent. Seventy. And what do you promise Zimbabwe is going to these elections, provided that you win? I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. We, uh, we, we are not promising much, but we are we are continuing. You see. Uh, to miss government. Yes. You see. Do, 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 <laughs> to miss government. No. <laughs> we, we, we see. We are building roads, uh-huh. clinics, everything, education. We, we, we are not stopping. Actually. We, we are bringing more. Okay. We are bringing more. And in the event that you lose, are you guys prepared to hand over power? If we lose, mm. we lost. But I don't see ourselves losing. But are you prepared to hand over power? Will you be prepared to hand over power this time? That is a democratic country. We lose, we hand over the power. But what I'm telling you is, first we have done enough on ground. We are not going to lose. I don't want to discuss about losing. We are, we are not planning about losing. But if we lose, let's say just in case, we lose, yeah. but we'll end up there. We, we, we are free to end over the power, but we are not going to lose. Okay, yes. Yeah, I love the confidence. Yeah. Um, we are closing this uh, session or this program. Mm-hmm. I want you to talk to Zimbabweans out there. In as far as unpaid and the elections are concerned, tell them whatever you want to tell them. If you want to campaign, campaign now. This is your chance. Okay. Um, uh, 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 what I'm going to do is, I was speaking two languages in the village. Right? Okay. Yes, I will say, Magadi my comrades, viva Zanpios, viva. Pambele Mubatana, Pambele Mubambana. It is fair, 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 fair. Do not want to my comrades to win my elections. It was 23 August. And they test a ton of voter. Ton of voter, comrade, Emerson Nangakwa. Pana Zorana, Zoraita. So I think we won't. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to Nitigina are not violence. Tina se vota ngo tula. Tino vota ngero miyararo. Apa na muno ano rova abura muno chaiwa. Samba se vote la gashi. Se su ni dalama elections. We have got 4.5 million registered members. Automatically, ama registered members it manga there are six million. Meaning that we se state tato tora and the tino vota pass never changes. Uh, there is nothing like Mkomana. He was just pushing the time. He take you to you Mkomana. He push him over. Zimbabwe is a democratic country. We also gave you an opportunity to contest, even though we are going to lose. But it's fine. There is next time. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Zim wrote to 2023. Uh, we had in the studio Mr. Dumasa Moyo, the ZANPF political commissar for South African province, 
uh, this program continues until at least uh, after 23 August 2023, that is the day of the elections, you might be a candidate for any political party, you may be a party official, you may be a political analyst, you may be a Zimbabwe who is interested or even a political uh, activist from Zimbabwe who wants to say something about this coming election, please feel free to contact us and we will reach out to you. Oli Simube is the name. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.